All of you must have been expecting a video today and have been asking yourself, what happened to Wally? Where's the video that you've been promising on stream uh, on your platform and others? And I have to say, I was a bad boy. I didn't say my prayer before I ate my Cheerios and the gods measured me and found me lacking. To be completely honest with you though, it wasn't any supernatural intervention that caused this video to not be able to be released, but it was in fact my own stupidity. See, I forgot to check two very important boxes, and those are auto-saving your project and your project backups. As many of you know, I got a new computer and I forgot to actually change these settings, so when I made a mistake and the program crashed, I lost everything. So. Uh, in an attempt to try and fix this, I was scrambling and seeing if I could maybe churn out the same high quality content and I thought, it's just not possible. I had spent about four days working on it and doing it in one day isn't just going to be possible. So, I'm going to be releasing a video on Wednesday about the Lloyd Evans uh, situation that I was personally involved with. But don't worry. I am still here to regale you with a story because what would your Saturday be? What would your weekend be without a little bit of a giggle, a little chuckle from yours truly, Wally Barnett? Now, this is a story that rivals the end of Macbeth. It's a true tragedy. See, you're probably thinking to yourself that, Wally, you've always been this mountain of masculinity, this samurai of sexiness that you do see before you. That's why I was actually wearing my hat, just so you know, you all would, you know, really see the real version of me, the day-to-day -day version of Wally Barnett. But sadly, I wasn't always this uh, attractive man that you uh, that you have come to know. I was once a cult member of one of Jehovah's Witnesses, and this left me with an inability to talk to women. Yes, after exiting the Watchtower, I had a wacky and wild experience, truly something I'm ashamed of, and that is using social media for dating. Namely, the story I'm going to tell you, and I have plenty more, is going to be about my experience with Tinder. Now, Tinder was a wild world to me. I couldn't really, didn't really understand it, but my perception of it was, hey, I'm going to download this app, upload a couple pictures, tell people I like to camp and hike and read some books, and before you know it, I would just be smashing pissers, just be swimming in a pool of titties and sodden panties, but no... Sadly, that was not my experience. I uploaded Twitter and I got that download and I was like, all right, let's go. And that's about as far <laughs> as it went, as far as my luck went. And I would like to take this time to issue an apology to any of the women that I did meet on that social uh, media platform, Tinder, and just say, you know, thank you for giving me a chance and I'm sorry that I was such a such a pathetic person with absolutely no game whatsoever. I can uh, successfully say that uh, my my Twitter Tinder sorry Twitter <laughs> my Tinder experience was pretty awful. So I downloaded it thinking all you needed was you know just to be a reasonably well spoken person with a decent looking profile pic and you could just say hey to someone and. That would be it. You'd just be having a good old romp in the sack before you knew it. But <laughs> weeks went by and uh, nothing, nothing really worked out for me. My go-to line was to say, hey, in the first couple days of using, using Tinder and, you know, you would match on someone's profile and then uh, you have to send a message. So I would just say, hey, with an exclamation point. And soon I found out that wasn't quite enough. So then I had the big brained idea. I was like, whoa, old Wally was a real idiot. And the new version of Wally on Tinder 2.0 is going to be reformed. So I started saying, hey there, with an exclamation mark. And boy, oh boy, did that increase my success ratio by nothing whatsoever. So then I started just being a real, a real goober on the platform and just making funny jokes, trying to be cool, making funny dad jokes and 
and none of it really worked. I, as you guys probably fully understand, I'm not very good. I don't have a whole lot of game. I'm that's not my my thing. But it it gets worse from there. So one of the things that I thought would be cool would be to uh, once I finally did get in through the front door thinking, hmm, what's a what's a cool guy going to say to someone? So I had the great line of, hey, sorry, I'm at the gym working out. Maybe I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Looking back, I have to laugh at myself. <laughs> I have to laugh at myself. Uh, I didn't know any better, and uh, all, all I was just trying to do was figure out how things would go. But the few people I did end up meeting on Tinder... We went for walks, we got coffee, some people I went on multiple dates with, but uh, never actually had sex with uh, anyone because it wasn't my thing. And I quickly found out having sex with random people just wasn't for me. I'm a, so someone that kind of associates a, a relationship with sex and, and it's more meaningful and important to me and anything other than that's kind of just a waste of time energy and money as it turns out because you go on these these quick dates and you're like yeehaw I'll buy her a couple beers and before you know it we'll we'll be really getting it on and then you go home and you're just a sad sack sitting on your couch just contemplating whether or not to continue trying this and you 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 delete the app and then you re you re-download it like no i'm committed to this i'm not going to be defeated i'm a smart guy i'm a good looking guy i'm fairly well spoken surely this platform will work out for me but i have to say my time on tinder was one of the most pathetic embarrassing times and anyone that uh, is out there in the in the universe that had to put up with with this behavior and had to deal with with this i am truly truly sorry anyway i thought i would regale you guys with a quick story here's a quick video but on wednesday i will be up uploading the video uh, that i did promise on stream about mr uh, evans and my interaction with him and then we're going to be doing something slightly different and streaming on the weekend so uh, let me know down in the comments if you would like uh, to join the stream or just come and hang out or what times might be good for you. So I'm planning on doing it probably at like 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on Saturday to stream. And then the video uh, will be out on this upcoming Wednesday at 6 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. So anyway, thank you so much uh, for watching this. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing a hat, well... It's my dog walking hat, and I thought it looked ridiculous, and I was knew I was going to tell a story about just me being a really pathetic person with absolutely no game trying to use Tinder. So I thought, you know, people should see the real version of Wally. No cool shirts today. Not gonna show off any of uh, any of my fanciness. Just gonna give you guys the real 100% authentic version of myself. Anyway, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on Wednesday.